All right, this is Horner, and we're going to look at this 1999 B1 problem for the universal gravitation test. Uh, and it says that the Sojourner rover vehicle, uh, it's shown in the sketch that you'll see up top there, went to Mars on a mission in 1997. They want us to use all the data that you see here to answer the question. So the very first question is, determine the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of Mars in terms of g, the acceleration due to gravity at the surface of Earth. So to start this one, we're going to start by giving our typical equation. F is equal to big G times big M times little m all over d squared. Now you have to start with that equation. I know it's not the one you want to start with, but it's the one that you need to start with because you get a point for that. Remember f is really mg, and so for Mars this would be big G times big M times little m all over d squared. And notice that our little m's cross off, and now we get the equation that you're used to. G is equal to big M, I mean big G times big M all over d squared. So this is our second point, is actually getting this equation. Remember, this is all for Mars, so we're going to put m, m, and m. But the problem is, is they gave us the radius and the mass of Mars based on the Earth radius and the Earth's mass. So let's just remember that gravity on the Earth is dependent upon big G times the mass of the Earth over the radius of the Earth squared. At this point, we're going to go ahead and start plugging some things in so we know big G stays. The mass of Mars is really uh, 0.11 times the Earth mass. So we're going to put 0.11 times the mass of the Earth. We're going to divide that by the uh, radius of the Mars, which is actually 0.53 squared times the radius of the Earth squared, because we had to square everything on the bottom. If you notice, GE is equal to G times ME times the distance squared over, uh, and so we're going to make this R. So we'll just say this is the radius of the Earth squared. Notice we have the same things right here. We have G, we have ME, and we have RE squared. So if I just say, let's ignore these things and replace this with this, we can plug the GE in right at this point. So now instead of having G, M, E, and R, E squared, we have GE. So now let's go ahead and rearrange this. So gravity on Mars is equal to 0.11 over 0.53 squared times gravity on Earth. And if you want to, you can reduce that down and make it 0.39 times the gravity of the Earth. And so that's our final equation. Uh, next thing we need to do is look at the next part of the problem. The next part of the problem is letter B. It says calculate Sojourner's weight on the surface of Mars. So the weight of Sojourner on the surface of Mars is equal to the mass on Mars times the gravity of Mars. Uh, so we know that the weight of this thing is going to be uh, the mass, which is 11.5 kilograms, times the gravity on Mars, which we said was about uh, 0.39 uh, times the gravity on Earth. And gravity on Earth, we said, is somewhere around 9.8. So we can plug that in. So this would be 11.5 times 0.39 times the gravity on Earth, which is 9.8. If you multiply all those together, you will get 44 newtons. And so that is the weight of Sojourner on Mars, uh, if we were to weigh it actually on Mars itself. Now we see that uh, we've landed and we've got this spaceship, and the spaceship has a deck on top, has some legs, there might be a rocket motor underneath. And so what we need to do is we've got, uh, we've got the uh, Sojourner rover on right on top, and we've got a ramp that's coming down from it, and that ramp makes an angle of 20 degrees with the surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that uh, Sojourner rover right here, and we know that going straight down, we have mg, 
and going up at an angle, we have n. And they want to know what is the, this lightweight ramp. We know that it doesn't have to hold the whole weight. We want to just know the normal force. So we're going to make our triangle. And from our triangle, so we can redraw this triangle here, we've got normal force here. We have mg going down. And then we've got, uh, we've got these two things. And remember, this angle is also 20 degrees. So this is the side of the triangle we want. We know it's mg times the cosine of 20 degrees. So uh, in order to solve for what we want for normal force, we're just going to take mg, which is 44, because that's the weight, times the cosine of 20 degrees. And that's equal to the normal force. So here, the normal force should be about 41 newtons. So that's great because you can save weight. This doesn't need to hold as much, so it doesn't have to be as strong. And that is the answer for part C. The last part is part D. It says, what is the net force, what is the net force on Sojourner as it travels across the Martian surface at a constant velocity? Well, if it's a constant velocity, I know that my acceleration is equal to zero. If my acceleration is equal to zero, then I know that my net force it's got to be equal to ma, and so that would be equal to zero either uh, also. So it says justify your answer. To justify it, you have to do both of these things. If you don't, you only get one point. And that is the 1999 question number one.